seventies a cup one issue that has come up a couple times is the issue of unplanned pregnancies in abortions excuse me and the president and i watched with great interest his speech at notre dame and i thought he articulated not only a framework for our public discourse over the next few decades but also a way of approaching these controversial issues that we truly want to find some common ground and i know uh... chairman obi and members of this committee have made a large commitment towards reducing unplanned pregnancies and therefore reducing the need for abortions and supporting pregnant women and as you may know chairman obi has in the past uh, directed significant funds towards the purpose towards this purpose and congressman deloro and i uh, have been working for a number of years to introduce legislation in the past several congresses that would help address this issue what is the department uh, doing uh, going to do uh, to try to uh, implement president obama's initiative and um, partner with congresswoman deloro and i to reduce the need for abortions well congressman i think it's a um, a an enormous challenge uh, that we face and one that um, is something I've been working on uh, in my home state of Kansas uh, for a number of years and one that I think um, brings together uh, people who uh, have varying views on abortion services around some um, common ground and around a notion that um, it, if we can work uh, providing a host of services to reduce unintended pregnancies, we therefore in, uh, reduce, um, by anybody's count, the number of abortions that are performed in this country, which is, a, uh, I think, a goal that all of us could support. So we have a range of services in um, HHS that I think can help toward that end, and it's everything from um, comprehensive um, sex education, which has already been discussed, uh, affordable available health care is an important piece of that puzzle. Um, there are uh, adoption incentives, uh, which, which work along the way, early childhood education, support for women, um, a range of programs for women and girls that um, really provide an environment where um, they have options and choices uh, that are so essential to, um, you know, reducing the situations that produce unintended pregnancies. So I, I think that they, I was alarmed by the recent CDC study that says we have an increase now in teen pregnancies again, having had a decrease for the last number of years. That's not good news. We know that 40% um, of births right now are to uh, single parents. That's not um, uh, the hallmark of good news. So there is a lot of common ground and a lot of work to be done, and I think that a lot of the assets to do that work are in the Department of Health and Human Services, and I just look forward to working with you and Congresswoman DeLauro and others because I think this is an area where some real focused, collaborative attention can pay huge dividends in the long run.